about that delay for the last hour. We hope you enjoyed the documentary on hermit crabs and little crabs that look like turds that could walk. That was very exciting viewing. And I'm sorry, Mum, that we haven't been on, and Grandma as well. It's all OK. We're all still here. We were just having a little break because I slept in. And on today's show, we've got Sprung Monkey coming in. Julian Lennon will be here. Sonic Youth are going to grace our studios. Plus, hopefully, we'll be able to fit in as well the campus band winner from Thursday night, Big Wally. Big Wally, looking forward to that. Also, Tim Gleason will be coming on, actor Vin Diesel. But right now, they just got back from six months overseas in America. Please welcome off their new thing, Green Spoon with Black Friday. buttons EP and we're gonna go straight to a little yarn right now we're not going anywhere so we can yarn as soon as they get here uh, making our way over here we've got Phil and Pat of Grinners thanks very much for coming and thank for you for being having so us prompt. thank you that's excellent hello and hello. welcome excellent to have you here ladies and gentlemen Grinspoon one more time Ah, uh -huh. what a relaxed and comfortable start to the morning. Yeah. Recently returned from six months in America. What was the purpose of this jaunt? Um, meet lots of Americans. We actually decided that we uh, released an old EP that we did a few years back in Australia. Over there and go over there and just tour. And we spent six months there and we basically toured constantly, every day. Ooh, busy, busy. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Very good. Very, and was it the US experience what you hoped it might be in retrospect? It was really hard work. We spent a lot of time um, in, in, a the bus, in a van. In a van. Know. Yeah, a luxurious yeah. van? No. Not really. It kind of blew up and got broken into many times. <laughs> it's a shame. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a shame. We got ripped off by a guy in Philadelphia. Yeah. Put a dodgy motor in it. And yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah they got 15 yeah, minutes man. down the road. Very subtle of it. blew yeah, up. And how does it feel to be playing to home crowds again? Nice? Yeah, it is very nice. <laughs> yeah. It's good to be home. Good to be home. home. Yeah. Have you been playing some new material since yeah. you've been back? Now that you've got the new EP out. 
five or six new songs. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to put on our next album that we're playing live. Ooh. Yeah. Next album. Mm -hmm. Those words. Yeah. Have you got plans for this album, have you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. We're planning. We'd mm -hmm. like to get it out soon, you know, as you do. We'd really like to get it out as soon as possible. What kind of stuff can the fans expect on it? It's fast. Yeah. It's different. It's, it's going to be a bit little... faster. Yeah. I think it's fast. It's going to be a bit more... A bit, a bit glassy too. Fast. Will it be faster? Yeah, yeah maybe. Hopefully it'll be faster. Faster. It to be faster. <laughs> Is that, are you mimicking me? No, I don't know. You <laughs> mean this? to. Am I in trouble? No, no, no. I like that. Please, continue. Um, in the US, you got classified as a heavy metal act, uh, didn't you? Yeah. Is that true? Absolutely. Very good. Did we're you we're give metal. them metal? Yeah. We tried. we tried. Yeah? We tricked them. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I saw a bit of metal moves happening yeah. just then. Yeah. That was I great. I learnt that over there. Did you? Uh, what yeah. other metal moves do you know? Um, Jono's had a, like, when you get on the monitors and shake your head like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Mm. Totally. What, do you know any slick ones? Well, I've got a few slick ones. Pat's more know. of a jump man. Yeah, you jump, yeah. lift your knees up. Lift your knees up. It's like, like a Van Halen movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eddie was a big influence. Yeah. Yeah. That would, that's, that's not very metal, though. What about the metal moves? Well, this, we've got the sign of the devil. Yeah, the sign yeah. of the devil. And that's fairly really generic now, though, the yeah, devil yeah. sign. Most though. people do it you even if they're not metal. You can play in a funk band and do that. Totally. You, know, you yeah. can. You can. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what they did. They, they, they had funny hairdos, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Lot, <laughs> and lots of tattoos. What about you? Oh. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one reviewer did actually say that if Phil wore a bandana um, while singing, then yeah. the Grinners would be a 90s Gunners. Yeah. Guns and Roses. Roses. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel being um, up there with Axl Rose? Oh, I'm very, very flattered. You honoured? Yeah. Fully. Yeah. Um, did some touring with Anthrax, Monster Magnet. Um, what other bands when you were over there? No Means No through Canada, Ooh. Madball, um, The Clay People out of Albany, Ooh. New York. We did a lot of hardcore shows, a lot of straight edge shows. We did a bit of everything just wow. to find out what we were doing. Are the upstate New York hardcore scenes alive and well? Are they all different? Types of music, yeah. upstate New York hardcore scene. scene. Is that yeah, music? Absolutely. Uh, no, well, it's just the scene. It's, it's like, a scene. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a scene. It's a scene. And we just like, yeah. came along and played, and everyone was going, wow, what are these guys doing? Yeah. 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 Do they dig it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Some of the hardcore gigs we did were the best. The yeah. straight edge shows were some of the best ones we did. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Cool. Did you learn some metal moves off Anthrax? Oh, they're all a bit old and crusty now. <laughs> but they've got like those wheelchairs. <laughs> it's not metal. No. no, it's not. It's metal to keep going, maybe. Recorded there as well. How did you fit that in amongst everything? We took a week off. Yeah, yeah took a week off, yeah. Were you still living in your bus in that week? No, we lived in New York. Uh, we stayed in a place called the Seaton on somewhere. 31st and Broadway. Yeah, it was nice, but it didn't have any phones. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Any what? Didn't have any telephones in your room, so you couldn't really call your mum or anything. And oh. they charged you by the hour. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe we can't go any further into that. <laughs> um, and did Black Friday, did, recorded that over there, which we've just heard, and an old song of the Green EP. EP as well. And a screensaver's on here as well. Is that all those people? Is that what it comes up as? It's just photos of it's us. It's just us. Photos of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And a prong right. song as well. Yeah. Snap your fingers, snap your neck um, on here. Fantastic. Why? A prong fans? Yeah. Well, when we first started, we used to drive around Australia and Taraga. We had a mixtape and that was on it. Tommy. We were thinking yeah. this is the song. <laughs> the song you know. In the Taraga. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was cool. We, we, we always wanted to play it and then we got the opportunity to record it in America. So Very we ace. It was good. We went for it. And now this prong song is on an, the ECW Extreme Wrestling album. A compilation. A compilation album. That's an honour. Yeah. Well, what, what are you into wrestling? Well, we did, re, you can't get away from wrestling in the states. It's everywhere they've got four channels of wrestling nonstop. <laughs> There's like four different groups of wrestlers, and yeah. so it's all on. It's huge. It's like uh, you know, it's bigger than bigger than baseball. So, um, What's extreme wrestling? Is that different to that's the their WWF? Nuts. They're nuts. They've all got masks and they all chew blood capsules. Oh. And, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's <laughs> wicked to be on that. Fully. Did you fit in any writing over there? A little bit. A um, little bit. little bit? Not we holed up in a rehearsal studio in LA for about a month and just did a lot, did a lot of that. That nice. photo on the inside of the covers from our rehearsal studio. Oh, in LA. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a self timer photo. Yeah, so Taken by that. Chris. He did a good job. He just ran back and went like that. Yeah, and yeah it looks like you're at a gig and everything's going hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, do you have... Uh, um, um, oh, oh, are you going to go back to the US again and conquer more? Yeah, it looks like we're, we're heading back for another tour pretty soon. And then when we release our album in uh, February, February, we're going to go back February. and tour a little more then. February, yeah. good. And yeah. some dates I can give you now if you want to go and see Grin Grinners touring around at the moment. Today at the um, Fruit Bowl in Victoria yeah. in Eltham at Eltham Roller City. 
one person who's already got their ticket yeah, there. Yeah, these girls are going. Yeah. Tomorrow um, in Hallam, in Victoria at Hallam Hotel. Then Tuesday at the ACT. Wednesday in Wollongong. Thursday in Newcastle. Friday in Sydney. Saturday in Sydney. That's a new date. And Sunday in the Central Coast with special guests she had and the Test Eagles. Very careful how to say that. Thank you very much. Greenspoon! <laughs> Are you going away or are you going to play more? Oh, we're going away. Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks nice for coming in and hanging around all morning. Cheers. Oh, we're still on. 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 Jono and Stacey are a couple of lucky basketball fans who got to go along to the recent media launch of the summer season of the NBL. And they met a whole lot of basketball stars, including, of course, Mimi McPherson. Lights on Triple J this week. Hi there, I'm Rosie, and in my hot little hands is the new Triple J feature CD this week. It's the Living End's self-titled album. Look forward to it all this week. Now, also tomorrow at 2 p.m., 2,000 lucky Triple J listeners are off to the Opera House to see Powderfinger, The Cruel Sea, Marcy Playground, and even Play Live. But do not despair if you can't get there. Listen to Triple J from 2 p.m. as we'll be broadcasting Powderfinger live across the airwaves across Australia. Now, we've got a very exciting Powderfinger competition happening right now. Do you want Powderfinger to come and play in your town? If you do, firstly, get 200 signatures of all your mates saying, yes, we want Powderfinger to come to our town. Secondly, design a postcard to entice Powderfinger to say, yes, that's the town we want to play in. Sell your town on a postcard. And thirdly, get signed approval of a venue of your choice to say, yes, we can have Powderfinger play at our town hall. Here's the signed written approval. That's all you've got to do. Send it in to Triple J, GPO Box 9994, Sydney 2001. Have fun with it too. And let me just tell you, Triple J will give you the finger if yours is the best entry. Enjoy it. Bye. Nice. Oh, no. What's going on? See, so many people spend so much time trying to get all the things happening in the right order so that I may be able to give you the right information at the right time, and yet every time, inevitably, I fail. Our next guest um, is brave, brave enough to act, enter the comedy death slot, and, and I can't speak still, that's great, is, was voted Sydney's most original new talent last year by someone. He's played shows all over Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra and Adelaide, and he's been involved in Laugh a Palooza lately, which we'll give some more details about if he gets through this. Please welcome <laughs> Mr. Tom Gleeson! <laughs> How are you going? Isn't that a weird expression, how are you going? You, you know, I've noticed in Australia, the further inland you go, the less syllables people use to say it. Like around here, people go, how are you going? You get out to Coburg, people start to go, how are you going? You get out to Broad Meadows, people go, hey again! You get out to Wangaratta, people go, hey again! You get out to a dog and people go, Eee! they don't even say anything anymore. It's a stupid question anyway. How are you going? What do you say to that? Yeah, I'm going by foot. I'm uh, glad we sorted that out. You know, when I was a kid, I learned how to count by watching Sesame Street, right? I mean, that was fine until one day I got pulled over for random breath testing and the policeman said to me, could you please count into this box? And I said, well, yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, hey, 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 there we go. Twelve. He said, you're drunk, mate. You've all seen those fun-sized Mars bars, right? You're just eating them at the moment, is that right? I don't like them. I reckon they're a rip-off. I mean, what's so fun about a Mars bar that size? I mean, a Mars bar 12 foot long with a V8 mag wheels, that would be fun. But this size, no. So next time you shrink your flatmate's shirt, hey, mate, it's fun size, look at that. Yeah. You know, when I was in primary school, kids used to always hassle me for having red hair. Like, uh, this is pretty typical. Kids would walk up to me and go, here you go, carrot top. So I'd go, listen, mate. Carrot tops are green. 
So I'm thinking. Either that or they go, how you going, blue? So I'd go, huh, I see what you're doing. You're doing that Australian thing where you're calling me the opposite of what I am. Yeah, I'm not bad, genius. You see, I learned all my social skills from Sesame Street as well. Like, I, uh, I went to this party with two mates, and this other guy, he came up and talked to us, and we didn't really want to talk to him, so we said, uh, one of us people does not belong here, three of us people are kind of the same, so piss off, mate! <laughs> and he did, so we said, cooperation! <laughs> you seem like a pretty cultured crowd, so I'll finish off with a bit of a mime. Uh, this is a mime of me in the morning combing the pillow patch out of my hair when my hair was a bit longer and I had more of it. But anyway, here we go. It's all right. I, I, I thought it would have gone better, I admit. And uh, it's probably because there's too many people here from Broad Meadows, so I'll do it again. Stop! 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 Hey, again. <laughs> That's all right! Tom Gleason! Thanks, Tom. You're welcome. <laughs> Good. <laughs> good, good. Who voted you most original new talent in Sydney last year? Um, my peers did. That's nice. It's because of peer group pressure. Yeah. I got it started. Is it a good thing to be the most original? Um, yeah, it has a, there's pros and cons associated with that. It's good because you can just go blah and people laugh. Yeah, because it's but original. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's bad because you can go to somewhere like the Oatly RSL yeah. and go blah and everyone goes, yeah. Off, yeah, yeah. You know? Lucky, lucky we've got that deleting thing. Um, um, and what's Laugh a Palooza? Laugh a Palooza is a sketch show. Okay. It's been running for a while, yes? Uh, yeah, it's been around for about six or seven months, I think. That's okay. right. Okay, okay. Just visited Melbourne recently. It's been in Sydney before. It's going back to Sydney now. That's um, right. At the Bridge Hotel, the Comedy Hotel, uh, October 20 to 25th. And what do you do? Is that like a, a soapy every week? New things happening? Or? Um, no, no, no. It's, a, it's the same show each week. But that's a good thing because <laughs> it means that it's really well rehearsed. There's yes. nothing to panic about. It means we know what we're doing. All right. Yeah, so it's just a series of uh, fast-paced sketches. All right, and you're acting in that. Good. That's right. Um, um, yes. Ace, any other gigs to plug? Um, I'm on at the Comedy Club tonight. Oh, OK. In Victoria? On Ligon Street, that's right. Ligon Street, Victoria. Yeah. Books, videos, audios, CD-ROMs? Uh, pass. Um, yeah. Net sites, phone numbers? Uh, pass. Thank you very much, Mr Tom Gleeson! <laughs> Bye, Tom. Goodbye. Speaking of Tom, speaking of Tom, you know that musical Tommy? Sure plays a mean pinball. And, um, hear me, see me, feel me, Tom. All the way from Launceston in Tasmania, wherever that is, please welcome Big Wally with Wally Waltz. Yeah!
throw spleen on me. Rub some Vaseline on me. I'll be your friend. Rub some Vaseline on me. Drop your spleen on me. Rub some Vaseline on me. I'll be your friend. Well done on your win. Congratulations. Welcome to recovery. Bloody, bloody, bloody. That was incredible. Oh, du lieber Augustin. Nice German song references. Boys, well done on your win. Is this part of your prize, is it? Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. To play on recovery? Yeah. Wow. Was it good? Did you, did you like it? I um, really enjoyed it. Really nice stage sound. Yeah, <laughs> Glad the stage yeah. sound was good. The act was a fine performance and as well. What else do you win? Too, yeah. Everyone's just great. <laughs> what else do you win? Um, we win a trip to New Zealand with the, the managers of the competition's grandmother. And Whoa. that's for three days. And also we get a $10,000 recording with Troy Horse, I think. And a national tour next year wow. for the unis. You guys are going to take on the world. That's insane, unreal. Um, against how many bands were you competing? Um, there was seven all up in the final. Good competition? Yeah, there were some really good bands in that. Ace, but you came out on top. And will you make Big, Big Wally your careers now that you've won? Yeah, we're we'll definitely thinking about it. We'll take next year off anyway, see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully people will like us. I think they do. Um, if you get massive, will you keep your name, Big Wally? Um, what do you think? Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Yeah. The rocks. What's the what's the Launceston scene like? The Launceston scene, oh, it's pretty quiet. It's mainly the cover bands are bigger down there than the original bands. So yeah, cover there's, bands. There's not many places to play. We all play in cover bands as well. So oh really? Shh. Yeah. Shouldn't have said that. Will you be local heroes in your village when you return? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Mullet, mullet, your first album. When's this out? Yeah, we did a, we recorded it for free at uh, the TAFE studio in Launceston and we haven't got copies with us, it's not actually out yet. Uh, there's but, American um, Rosso's mullet thing, if, but that's not theirs. We have another album out by uh, early next year after this recording, hopefully. Mm. So. Mm, okay, good. Well, we'll look out for that. And, and um, gigs, would you like to plug anything? Uh, we're playing at the Pacific Circle Festival in Sydney next Friday night. Okay, is that all? Is that all? Yeah, that's about it at this stage. Look out for Big Wally! Thanks! <laughs> mm, they've just finished their Australian tour and this will be the last song they play here until they return. So it's big. It's off their 14th album in 17 years, which is called A Thousand Leaves, and it's called Wild Flower Soul. Please welcome back to the Recovery Studios, Sonic Youth! <laughs>
Summer Soul off a thousand leaves. Magnificent and wonderful. We've got a lot of thank yous to do right now. Thank you very much to Sonic Youth, of course, to Sprung Monkey, Grinspoon, Julian Lennon, Vin Diesel, Tom Gleason, Big Wally, our wonderful house band Luxedo, who are playing gigs around the place. Find them, if you will, Friday night next week at the Evelyn, Saturday night at the, uh, where is it? The Central Club, Central Club with, Gomez. with Gomez. That's their latest album. Um, are, thanks these to are them. Nikki who helped us on the, the show. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki, thank you, Nikki. Come, you can come here now. Come you don't here, have to stand there anymore. You can say hi to everyone. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Thank you so much, and, and we'll miss you. Thanks to Vince, our CD reviews, Lee, Jody, Jane, in, they're yours. Enforcer, um, our work experience kids, Lara and Natasha, kids, yep. Um, our audience, thanks for being loud again. That's always wonderful. Yep. And thanks for putting up with that first hour of us not being on air and just yeah. sitting in our studio Hopefully with it really quiet. Next week, that won't happen. Next won't. week, we've got Guttermouth from mm. the States on the show. We've got Marcy Playground from the States playing live. We've got Watchmen from Canada. We have Haskell Daniel, a comedian. We have a Natalie Imbruglia interview. And Mark Seymour and Band will be on the show next week, too. Yes, so stay tuned and watch it's that next true. week. Happy birthday to Karen Boy and Zoe, and thanks so Hi, much, Penny Nikki, once and Cam again. Hi, Penny and Cam in uh, <laughs> New South Wales, too. Um, yes, farewell. Plenty more action next week. Thanks, Luxedo. We'll be taking us into the weekend. Have a good one. Bye. Snake skin pants will set my mind on romance. I'm just an old fashioned guy. That's half the reason why. She